What's up guys, today I'm going to be installing new headlights on my 1987 Mini. To do this I'm going to be removing the chrome trim, pulling out the headlight, popping the new one in and wiring it up into place. So guys, this is what the new headlight's going to look like. It's just got some clear film over it just to um, protect it. Now, it should be a straightforward swap. Um, and then the cables here would connect up to the, I think the red, red ones for daytime running lights. Let's wire that in and the yellow one for will be for the indicators but I could be wrong so to do this I'm gonna have to remove the chrome rings from around these headlights um, it's just a screw here holding it on Slots in to the back like a normal headlamp would. It's got the three grooves there. Just need to line this up again because I've just removed it. Only goes in a certain way. So you can't go wrong with that really. They all screwed into place. Sorry, they all screwed into place. Secure. Okay. And for now, I'm just gonna place the thing film back on the front and just protect it. Okay, so we're gonna come into the headlight unit now. Um, this simply slots straight onto there. The black here is a an earth cable um, that comes out on there so we're not going to worry about the earth because it's already earth um, the red will be the daytime running light and also the park light which will illuminate the ring and then the so it connects straight to the red on here um, the yellow will go get wired into the uh, indicator light and that will illuminate the ring orange so to do that I'm going to have to feed a cable down here through the hole piggyback it off the positive on the indicator and it's a pretty quick and simple straightforward job you don't have to connect this up but it's just an option and personally I think it looks cooler with that so, let's get cranking on this job. Indicator. And we're gonna remove the whole unit. Okay, so this, okay, so let me show you. This wire feeds through here, comes out into the body, and it is all wound up over there, and fed straight back into the cab so you can either snip through there or do it close to the light I'd recommend doing it in the place where it doesn't get wet so what I'm gonna do is just snap all these cable ties first and figure out how far back this is fed and do it from a joint 
somewhere else. Hey. Okay. So what I've just done is unclipped all this wiring that was there. I can see at some point this was rejoined. Um, you see those wires feeds down to here. Um, then goes through a sleeve which protects it a bit better and comes to the indicator unit which we use to double the wire. Um, in this case it's going to be the green wire that we're doubling. You just need to force the green wire through and start getting to the And in this first clip there, we're gonna get a wire, feed it through the hole. Then gonna come out, use the bonnet, and take it, thread it into this hole. This one is the live wire. Just gonna get some pliers now. Just squeeze this into place. And what it does is it joins two wires using that bit of metal in between. And you simply just close this, this bit. Tuck your wires out of the way, I, I'm going to sort that out afterwards. Um, Tuck your wire down, get some cable strippers. Get the holes in the last songs in there. Some wire strippers. Life there. What I like to do with these is remove this plastic. And then you've got the connector straight there. And I'll get a bit of heat shrink which fits nicely over that. I just cut it down to a couple of centimetres long. Just need to create a new cable for that. Which we can either just pull this off and pop the nail end on or create a joiner. But I'm gonna join remove it and just put a male connector on.
Bye bye. We're done. That's just an idea. As you can see, that's all wired into place. It's just a matter of um, popping our headlight back in. And it's possibly the wire. Let's see if we're in the front position. Now it's just a matter of popping this screw back in, which holds it all into place. And it's all tucked in there nicely. You now pop the indicator back in. Screws, one there, and the other one. Bring it out. And so, guys, I'm just feeding the wiring to the top of the bulb in it, and 
bringing it down. I'm gonna in here. There's a capped section, and that one's open, so it needs to go in this way around. <laughs> this one's just gonna slot in there. You can slide this back a bit. Pies on the. Just push that metal in. This should just clip around onto there. This now can go back in. Do you reckon? Go have a look. Okay. Do you reckon? Bolt. Oh. And now it's much more heavy. So, as you can see, straightforward task with really nice end results. <laughs> 